my reaction to this eviction episode. I wanted to just fly through all that competing and drama and get just straight to the eviction and the HOH. It just, you know, it hurts, it sucks. Seeing Bay and Day be targeted, be put on the block, and then, you know, these outsiders being taken out one by one and seeing this big alliance untouched and still running the house. Yeah, it's just really sad and disheartening to watch. I thought it was funny in Day's DR session when she said Christmas was canceled. I'm glad we still have some Day DR sessions going on. I really don't see her being targeted this week. The big alliance has already said they want to keep her around, so good for her. She just has to lay back and you know, eventually win stuff to take out this big alliance. I felt so bad seeing Cody find out about his grandfather. I think that was heartbreaking. I can't even imagine what that must feel like and having to be in this house, knowing that your family is dealing with this. And at least, you know, he was able to see his grandfather before he went on the house. I think that's great and he's able to know that. I felt bad seeing him so sad and in the bed crying. Tyler embraced him and it was funny, however, when Ian was just in the bed sleeping. Ian is somehow in the room when things are going on. But yeah, he was just there like laying in the bed while this is going on. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my god, that like took me out of the moment. I'm really gonna miss Bay's facial. She has some great facial expressions coinciding with what's going on. So I didn't know that Ian was actually showering during the whole day and Christmas drama combo about personal game talk and game talk. But um, yeah, that was really funny. And then that DR session about needing a towel was really funny. And then that whole segment ends with him in the shower still with no towel. When Julie told Cody, sorry about your dad's father, I don't know why this was the wording instead of your grandfather, but um, <laughs> I, I, it, it's true, it's his dad's father, but I mean, it's, you know, also his grandfather. I, I think that would have been easier. So there was no hinky vote. Everybody voted to evict Bay. So, Bay was evicted. I love the pictures on the wall for her. And I saw a picture of her on Twitter wearing Janelle's dress and I was hoping that I would see her in it tonight, but I'm I'm sure they told her dress for endurance. So yeah, um, but she looked really good in it. It's sad that everyone associated with Janelle is being evicted. It's like, why is this a thing? I miss Janelle, I miss Kaser. I'm actually watching season six right now because I miss them so much and just wanted to see it. I really liked Julie's look this episode. I don't know why she was wearing two crosses, but I guess that's, an, that's a new trend. You know, at least Bay's going home to a really great life, a really happy life. She has swaggy, so that's really good for her. <laughs> and of course, there were jokes on Twitter about Julie mentioning Guess who was behind it all? Memphis and the committee. And of course, that's what was brought up. I don't know why the whole Enzo alliance wasn't brought up and how he's actually with the core and the whole core because I don't know, the committee is just, it's been mentioned that it's just not really real anymore. It's not really anything that they're focusing on. I guess besides Christmas saying that she's loyal to Tyler and the committee, but yeah, that's what Julie mentioned was the committee. And there was talk of Christmas's actual untouchable, which is Tyler. And Bay wasn't surprised. She's like, yeah, Tyler's, everyone's untouchable. I love the Bay and Day friendship and I love Day's goodbye message to her. I know they will be friends outside of the house and, you know, at least they had each other in this house. Even if, you know, it made them a target and it made people associate them together. I don't know if I heard this wrong, but um, Bay did mention feeling for Ian and Enzo. I don't know if I just, but that's what I heard. So it's a wall comp for HOH and 
there's been speculation of an endurance HOH and CBS mentioned it today too so that is what's going on. Obviously we didn't get to see it all in the episode but um, it's on the feeds and I've seen the updates and whatnot so I know that day dropped first. The first three to drop are have nots. The first three to drop were day, David, and Ian I actually just saw that Ian dropped apparently slightly before Memphis so Ian's a have not and I was really hoping Ian would win and now that Ian and Day are out it's like I don't even know who I'm rooting for I'm like rooting for no one I guess I guess Tyler so he could target Danny and that side of the house so I know you know the house guests have been talking about there being a battle back Julie confirms to them that the first five evicted house guests were sent home and there is not going to be a battle back for them and that jury officially starts so whoever's evicted this week will be going to jury so yeah jury has begun hopefully things get more interesting now so hoh you know was crowned danny is hoh she's thinking of putting david and kevin wants to get out Tyler, of course, but we have to also remember David has a power. So he'll be able to change the noms, who knows, there could be an Ian nom. So yeah, I mean, I'm not thrilled, I'm not excited, but for her sake, I'm happy that she gets to see pictures of her daughter, a letter from home and all her goodies. It came down to her, Nicole and Cody. Tyler fell right before that and it's obvious Big Brother didn't want this to go on too long which I don't blame them because sometimes it just gets ridiculous hours and hours and hours but you know Cody and Nicole fell and Danny stayed on people were saying that they threw it to her which it's possible but also I would have thought that Cody would have wanted a letter from home considering what happened I'm sure he misses his family he's very close to them and Nicole I don't know I, I would think she would have wanted to win as well but who knows maybe she just doesn't want to make the move and just let Danny do it so yeah let me know your thoughts on a Danny HOH and don't forget to like and subscribe